How many of us use this every day? Lock the car, unlock the car. We do it by remote and we don't even give it a second thought unless this happens. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It only happens here. See, it doesn't work. I'm pressing. We're outside the coal store in Royersford. Nope, 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 nope. Weird mystery. I could not believe this. <laughs> da, 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 da. When I went into Kohl's, managers told me they had no idea either. It must be the power plant or something. Limerick power plant officials insist it's not them. I have no idea. Some people thought maybe it's cell phone tower interference. But there aren't any cell towers in the area. That's huh. odd. We're told it's been like this for over a year, and some shoppers don't realize you might have to lock your car manually. If you don't, your cars aren't locked and... You're, you know, you're not safe. One woman reported her laptop was stolen from her car after she thought she locked it. But police tell us they can't figure it out either. So who do you call? Ghostbusters, here he comes. Okay, they're not ghostbusters, but they are radio signal busters. I'm an engineer. Somewhere in the vicinity of this parking lot, there is a big source of radiation. And this mystery is right up their alley. They're members of the Pottstown area amateur radio club. I built a little a little antenna. Bob Rex brings out some cool gadgets. This device is what's called a spectrum analyzer. And within seconds, we've got something. There's actually two signals there. It looks like it's coming from the building. We move in closer. One's pointing at that door and the other one's pointing at the other door. We decide to talk to Cole's management. They say they'll look into it. The thing that's bothering me is the fact that it's running constantly. The Federal Communications Commission licenses radio signals, and these ham radio operators say the fact that some signal is interfering with remote lock signals isn't good. The FCC rules are pretty clear on that. It's probably something that might be broken. Our radio signal busters think the problem is in these anti-shoplifting gates, sensors designed to alarm store security if someone steals something. All we know is three days later, voila. The door just worked. Oh, it did. It now it's working. <laughs> now it works. Now, thank you. Hey, no need to thank us. Thank the radio signal busters. Coles will only say that they're working on it. The FCC says it does sound like something malfunctioned and they've had similar incidents in New York City and Tampa. We've got more information for you. Go to our website at NBC10.com slash investigators. Luann Khan, NBC10 News.